Hey everyone, Matt here. Welcome to episode 4 of the Super Stacked Auto Ultimate in the top city of plants, the Cinderella Jack Auto Flower. This grow is a 4x4 tent and I'm using 430 watts. Now episode 1 through 3 will be linked in the description for anyone who wants to follow from seed to harvest. I even cover the grow tent and ventilation setup, so yeah, those will be linked in the description. I left off from episode 3 in week 14 and that's 14 weeks from the day I put the seed into the soil. Now Dutch Passion says their auto ultimate can take up to 15 weeks to finish outdoors and the Cinderella Jack says 10 to 11. Based off how this Auto Ultimate and Cinderella Jack are currently looking, I'm gonna need a couple more weeks than what's advertised on the seed packaging. I suppose outdoors the autos might be finishing faster due to the hours of light the plant receives changing throughout the season. But needless to say, after 14 weeks these plants need more time to finish. So, episode 3 did cover the last feeding the plants will need, so this grow is ultimately on cruise control until harvest. That means I just need to water when dry, monitor the environment and let the plants do their thing. Cinderella Jacks have started to show a slight fade in week 14, but moving into week 15, the colors were in full effect. When growing organically, properly, you stop using nutrients during the last few weeks, so the plant can use up all the remaining nutrients in the soil, so there's no reason to flush the plants. When growing organically, a flush kind of just looks like we're just watering normally which means watering when dry and without any runoff, until it's time to harvest. If you ask me, it doesn't really get much easier. Now I'm growing using Gaia Green Organics, which is the kind of nutrients that doesn't cause cell buildup in the soil. I'm feeding the soil, not the plant, whereas synthetic bottle nutrients, it's feeding the roots, not the medium. This soil has microorganisms which are dissolving the nutrients locked in the organic matter and they provide them to the roots as needed. The plant will take what it needs as it needs it, which also means the plant will stop uptaking food on its own once it gets to the end of its life cycle. The nutrients which are left are still locked up in the organic matter, and to even simplify it further, it's like a tree or a plant outside, fading and changing colors as the season comes near. One does not flush the earth. Now with that said, you can actually still over fertilize or fertilize too late into flower where it kind of prolongs the whole process of the plant turning colors and fading. In rare cases, you maybe should flush the, you know, traditional way. So for week 15-ish, this auto ultimate is looking fucking huge. It's packing some of the largest colas I've had on an auto in quite some time, and I've had my fair share of donkers. That did not sound right.
Okay, well, this auto ultimate is supposed to be over 20% THC, but this pheno of the auto ultimate I think is gonna be lower than that. The yield is gonna be great, but the resin production isn't quite up to where I like. Now the Cinderella Jack may not have the impressive size as the Auto Ultimate, but it certainly does have the resin production. When comparing the two, I'd say the Cinderella Jack looks like it has three to four times the trichomes as the Auto Ultimate. And after a few minutes with each plant, the Cinderella Jack is the one that hits me harder in the nose. It's now week 17, and my best guess would be about week 9 of flower. I am down to one Cinderella Jack, leaving four plants, three of which are auto ultimates. In the past week, the oldest ultimate has gone from green to full on autumn fade. And just as quick as the fade sets in, the trichomes can also turn quick. I need to keep a close eye on them over the next week. So this really small and what looks to be like an extremely cheap microscope, cause it is, it has been my tool of choice for checking the trichomes. The plant's peak THC production is when the trichomes are mainly milky or cloudy. I find once the flower has around 5-10% to amber, that's often when the trichomes are mainly cloudy. So I am checking on the trichomes daily, just so I can quickly pull the plants from the tent once ready. Also, because I'm big on making hash, I don't want the trichomes turning all amber. This will resort in darker hash, and just as important, it's best to process the material as soon as possible from the harvest. These things are an important factor for getting better quality hash, or I should say color. Now the two auto ultimates are actually younger autos I planted about two weeks after the first ultimate in Cinderella Jacks, so they will be the last autos to come down. I already took down the first Cinderella Jack the prior week leaving just this one. This plant has been cannibalizing itself for the past few weeks and it's now bursting with colors. I'm gonna pull her from the tent for its time under darkness prior to chopping. And the older auto ultimate is going to be next. So on the next episode, I have to harvest. <laughs> First cola down, a few more to go. I'm gonna be drying, trimming, curing, and of course showing the end results of the flower and the total yield from this one run. Please don't forget to stroke the YouTube algorithm with a like and a comment on this video. And subscribe for better weed. Thanks everyone for watching, I'll talk to you in the comments. Call like zero
12 degrees. I'm out the cage, gotta let out the beast. Revolutionary guy, let out the streets. Locked in a cage, I'ma let out the, let out the, let out the. 